This fifth wheel here has room for the whole family. And friends. And when it comes to these big bunkhouse fifth wheels, it really comes down to just how many little things a brand can do to differentiate it from another brand. And this Solitude has a heck of a lot of those little things. Let's go take a look. started we're excited to talk to you about a product that is really important if you are an RVer with pets and that is Waggle. I can't believe I didn't know about this product here earlier because my family has always RVed with pets. We are pet owners Adriana and I and I am just now figuring out about this little magical device here that is called Waggle. Basically what this thing does is it monitors the temperature and humidity inside your RV so that if you ever lose power and it's starting to get too hot or too cold inside of your RV, it will let you know if you have pets in there or anything that you care about, people or pets, it's gonna alert you on your phone and through email. We're gonna show you how it works. We're gonna do an unboxing and give you a full breakdown of this real quickly before we get into this RV. Let's go. So there's actually quite a bit that comes in this box with Waggle. As we open it up here, the first things you're gonna see is it comes with two $75 gift cards, essentially, that you can use on Waggle's website as they do have other equipment on there as well. A thank you card, instructions for setting up your Waggle, a door tag, two stickers, setting up your account with Waggle, and then this is the actual piece of equipment that will go inside your RV comes with a charging block and comes with a charging cable. So it comes with even more equipment than you get with an iPhone nowadays. So that's what it will come with there. This here is your waggle device. You can see it has a mounting spot on the back here. So you can actually mount this to a wall or anywhere you want inside of your RV. And when you turn this on here, it's gonna have a little loading screen and then it's going to show you the internal temperature inside of your RV. And it is also going to show you the room humidity percentage there. Now, all of this information will also be available on your phone via the app, which we are gonna take a look at. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this waggle in here, turn off the ACs, go inside and see if it does what it's supposed to do and alert us when the temperature gets too high. Now, as we get the AC turned off here, we're gonna go check our phone and see what it lets us know. And as you can see here, we got multiple different alerts, both with the humidity and with the temperature. You can set it to what temperatures you want to be alerted at, and you will also get those over email as well. And you can go in and check the app where the app will also tell you the temperature of your RV. So that is the Waggle device. If you are interested in this, there's a link in the description below that will give you 50% off your purchase. So hopefully you pet owners out there appreciate that information. I think that is a really valuable and useful product So go check that out. Now, as we get into this review of this fifth wheel, this is a Solitude S-Class model. So Solitude actually has two different models. They have their Solitude, which you see over here, and then their S-Class. So this is like their slightly stripped down version that doesn't really feel stripped down. Now, there are a lot of premium things on here. This is a full profile fifth wheel. It is a big fifth wheel. It's almost 42 feet long, definitely weighs quite a bit. So something like a one ton is recommended for a fifth wheel this size. You'll be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen for this fifth wheel. And just to confirm, coming up here, the model number on it is a 3740BH. So this is Solitude's second largest bunkhouse fifth wheel. Um, has two entrances on it. As we go around, we'll just start up at the front. You're gonna have a molded fiberglass front cap, really nice looking LED lights up front as well. And then you have LED lights here Rhino pin box, so that's gonna be a nice small confined pin box there. And underneath here, really like the little touch where like they put this plastic or rubber sleeve here over your light switch. So any mud or debris isn't gonna mess with that switch and that is for your front cap lights. So conveniently located and easy to get to. Down underneath here, this model is actually prepped for a generator. So this is where we see one of the first things that's going to separate this from a lot of its competition in this class of fifth wheel where this isn't like the most premium fifth wheel ever that you can get, but there's a lot of things that it competes with out there in the marketplace that often are not going to be seen with generator prep. Also has capacity for two batteries in there as well. And then as we come around this way, it's going to have a six point auto leveling system. 
has a drop frame up front here, so you can see that frame is dropped down. And then propane bottles in this area here. So you'll have a 30 pound propane bottle there and a 30 pound propane bottle on the other side. Two awnings on this fifth wheel. So most of your outside will be covered with awning coverage, LED lights underneath each awning. So they run along that spot right there and you can have those on whether your awning is in or out. As you open up your baggage door, this is going to have magnet latches on it. So that will stay open on its own. Huge storage compartment down underneath here. Aluminum framing for all of your frame pieces on this fifth wheel and you can see they do wrap the subflooring underneath there so it looks much cleaner than some other brands that have exposed wood down under there. Another nice touch, they have an access panel to all of your water lines and heat duct so you can get back to that through here nice and easily without having to unscrew anything. And it actually is like a whole hinged piece there that moves so quite a bit of moving pieces there when you slide that back and it is prepped for a tire pressure monitoring system as well. You have a spray port here and outlets on your campsite. So nice having that campsite water source. Your steps here are a solid step going in and out, has a nice low step for your first step, and it does have the easy tab here to move these legs up and down, much easier than a pull pin. And it is strut assisted, meaning when you move these up to go into the door, you won't have to support any of the weight. Solitude also does a laminated sidewall there, so that is going to be a much more solid wall than what you see on some other fifth wheels that don't do a laminated sidewall. And then as we move down this way, you have a Rockford Fosgate audio system, so a more premium audio system on this fifth wheel, again, than what you see on some other brands in the same or similar size and price range. Cooper H-rated tires, which is gonna be best in class. I haven't seen anything else in this price range that has Cooper H-rated tires or H-rated tires for mini brand. And then you also have a Moride CRE 3000 suspension system there, which is gonna be one of the better suspension systems that you can get standard coming out of the factory without having to upgrade anything. So two really premium things underneath here. Your slide out mechanism is going to be a rack and pinion style slide, as you can see underneath there. And then look at this outdoor kitchen out here. It has everything you could ask for. The only thing it doesn't have is a microwave, but you have a spot to hook up a TV if you want it. I always prefer to have the sink. I think this is the most important thing in an outdoor kitchen because this will allow you to wash your hands outside. You don't have to run inside to wash your hands, rinse off utensils and cups and things like that without having to run inside. So that will save you a lot of time and energy having that. Really interesting color here because it's different than the interior color. So that's a little different. And then you have a suburban pull-out griddle. So it's strapped down right now, but you can flip that over and you'll have a griddle cooktop. And then it has a nice big refrigerator. This is an Everchill refrigerator. And of course I'm opening it from the wrong side with a glass door there so you can see inside and know what's in there and what needs to be replaced. And then a little spot here to add some accessories. I'm not sure exactly what people might put in there. Maybe like some tongs or something for cooking. Then up through here, you'll have all your storage with cabinet space there. That opens up and have all that storage there and storage through here. So that is your outdoor kitchen. The height of this door here is about six foot four. So if you're six foot four or under, you'll be able to stand underneath that door and have a nice shaded area there for your outdoor kitchen space. Ladder to get up onto the roof, prep for a backup camera, and it does have a towing hitch off the back. So you can tow off of this here. It's gonna be a 3,000 pound rated hitch, or you can just put an accessory rack off the back with that hitch uh, attachment there. Three slide outs on your non-camp side. You can see this slide out is a huge slide out there. So really big slide out in the bunk room. Also nice touch like having the LED lights right there. And then as we come down underneath, you're gonna have a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly, above the insulation. So anytime your furnace is on, it will be sending heat into that underbelly to keep your water tanks and water lines from freezing. Spot to store your sewer hose. You have a um, spare tire down underneath there as well. And black and gray tank dump valves here for your second half bath in this model. And then you'll have another dump station up front here that is going to be for your kitchen and main bathroom that will dump right there. Plus you have a light there so you can see what you're doing as well in darker condition. Rack and pinion style slide out on your smaller slide. 
And then you'll have this door that opens up here. Again, magnet latch to hold that open. Auto leveling controls. Nautilus water management system. So really nice and confined there, keeping everything clean and organized. Outlets and satellite connections and storage space passing through. You also have a tankless on-demand water heater. So you'll be able to get that longer shower inside, longer um, access to hot water for whatever you may be using hot water for. Black tank flush valve to flush out your black tank with pressurized water. And another 30 pound propane bottle behind this door. Let's look at the exact specs real quick before we go inside. So unloaded, this thing is 14,160 pounds. Definitely heavy, has a cargo carrying capacity of 2,580 pounds, getting you to a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,800 pounds, and then has that H rated tire. So that is everything on the outside, and there are even more things that just add up when we go inside. So let's go hop inside and take a look. As we head inside here, you have your screen door. I like how it's framed out with white. It just, to me, gives a little bit cleaner look. And we are here at McLean's RV Superstore. So I actually forgot to mention this in the video, but we are here at McLean's, who is our new preferred partner dealer with our company firmly unbound. So what that means is if you are interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen and we'd be happy to take care of you and make sure you have a great experience with purchasing your next RV and throughout the ownership process of having your RV. We are working with McLean's to do that, and that means that they have five different locations, in, uh, four in Texas and one in Oklahoma. You'll be able to see the locations on the screen there. So if you text us, if one of these locations is convenient to, for you, we can help you out and help you find your next RV. Whether it's this one or just any other one that you may be looking for is, um, McLean's has a great lineup of RVs, which is one reason why we selected to work with them, and they also offer the service that we were looking for out of a dealer partner that we wanted to work with because we want to send you somewhere where we feel like we can in good faith say that you will have a great experience. We want you to be taken care of. Exactly. So text us at the number on the screen. It'll also be in the description of the video if you miss it on the screen. Um, quick little plug real quick to the Denver Nuggets. Y'all saw the hat at the beginning. I didn't say anything about that, but I'm from Denver originally. <laughs> Denver Nuggets are in the NBA Finals, so I'm definitely repping my Denver Nuggets gear right now through the Finals. Um, all right, so let's get into this bunkhouse model. First thing you see right away when you walk in is this amazing sofa. I mean, how often do you see a sofa this big? Yeah, very rarely. A lot of times in bunkhouse models, we're usually seeing just one or maybe two recliners there and then a dining table here. So I this, love this. Yeah. They should do more of this. They should, yeah. I really like this too. Nice chase style sofa here. You can lay out on that. It's probably about four to five feet long or so. So it's, yeah, it's probably about four feet long. So not super terribly long where you can fully lay out on it, but it's a good space to stretch your legs out. And then three cushion sofa here. It does have two tables that can go into these mounts underneath. Let me show you where those tables are. Yeah. So lift up that cushion and then down underneath here is your storage where you can see the other table is located at. That is where you will store those. And this is also going to make out into about a king size bed because it is a trifold sofa that will come out to about where the island is if you need additional sleeping space. Which, That's awesome. If you need additional sleeping space in this model, you are camping with too many people. <laughs> but you'll see what we mean when we walk through the rest of this fifth wheel. But maybe you do. Maybe you just camp with that many people, which is awesome if you do. Huge storage in here. That is really deep. Yeah, that is nice. Two cup holders there. And then as we go around the slide out, a couple things. I really like the accents in the slide out fascia. Just the woodwork in there looks really nice. This is like a solid stained hardwood fascia. And then pull down blackout shades. They add the drawstring here so you can find where to pull that at. And it is movable throughout that space. And then I really like how the, um, what's the word, the balance. For the window it just goes all the way across and it's kind of seamless did you notice that i did yeah it looks really nice it, it i feel like a lot of people might not notice it but once you do it definitely stands out yeah it looks really clean so like that and that's pretty much everything in this slide out because it's really just one big seating space as I look up, another thing I notice in here that a lot of other fifth wheels in this class or size don't have is a skylight, so a ton of natural light coming in in here, 
We have the lights on, but I feel like when we turned the lights on, it really didn't get much brighter in here. It already was very bright. So much natural light. Yeah. So lots of natural light coming in with that skylight and the vent fan up above the kitchen as well. You have a big island kitchen here with an off-centered sink, so that's going to give you a lot of countertop space, especially to the right of the sink. And then again, all solid hardwood cabinetry finishes on here, and then no floor vents in this fifth wheel because they are running your heating through the island there and through other cabinetry in this fifth wheel. Also got to point out the slide-out flooring in these solitudes looks great. You can see the slide-out actually starts right here. So you can hardly even tell on camera where the flooring difference happens because it's using the same material. So that looks seamless and looks really clean in my opinion. LED lighting underneath your island looks really nice as well. And then let's get into this kitchen space. Does it have a split sink or is it a It's sink? a split sink. Kind of like a half split. Half split. Yeah. What do you think about these? Um, faucets here in the kitchen. I like how aggressive they are. I feel yeah. like Grand Design does a really good job of making everything really aggressive and tough looking. Yeah. So it just fits. Yeah. It's like geometrical almost. Has like a squared off shape. Um, we'll start kind of with this back wall and then work our way along the kitchen. This door is going to go into the bunk room. We'll get there in a second. My one critique that I have on this model is this is a relatively small TV. It looks to be about a 42 inch screen TV, maybe a 45 inch screen TV, but it's kind of small and doesn't look like you could fit much of a bigger TV there. Uh, you do have a fireplace, so it's going to be an electric heat source for you and more of a kind of traditional looking fireplace. I honestly like that fireplace better than the do you? ones that they usually put. The crystal ones? Yeah, I've had some people say that as well. And actually, back when I was selling an RV, I don't know if I ever told you this story, I uh, sold somebody a fifth wheel that had, we had two of them on our lot. One had the crystal fireplace on it, same exact model. The other one had this log style fireplace on it. And I accidentally sold them the wrong one. And I had to have them switch out the fireplaces so that the customer got what they wanted. Wow. And so, yeah, it's a, uh, yeah. It's it a big is, deal. It is a big deal. So I know that that's important to some people. Up here, you're going to have your Rockford Fosgate audio system. So a more premium audio system. Storage up here and hole going down to where your TV's at so you can put things like PlayStations, Blu-ray players, whatever you want in this space. This is textured. Yep, textured. Again, the geometric design even on just the handles of your cabinets. Let's work along this way. Um, I'm really curious what people think about this stove. Is this a speaker? Oh, wow, good catch. I did not even notice that. This whole underneath part here is all the speaker. I just thought it was a black wall. <laughs> wow, good catch there. So what I was about to ask, I'm glad you <laughs> noticed that because I really would not have noticed that. I'm curious what y'all think. They did the stove and oven off to the right against the wall here instead of doing it in the middle. Now that does give you more over, I guess it gives you more usable countertop space versus a little here and a little there. And it gives you a bit more storage, I would think. But it's also right up against the wall now. So I'm not sure if y'all would have preferred that it be centered there or if you like it more off to the side with a little bit more usable countertop space. I would think that they would center it because there's already so much space here on the yeah, island to work with. That's what I would think too, but we're curious to know your thoughts. So let us know in the comments what you think down below. Let's go through some of the storage here. I actually haven't even opened some of these yet. That's a big amount of storage in that space. And then let's move to the island. Those are some pretty big drawers there. They are not soft closed. Not soft closed, yeah. And they have the little latches on them. Outlet here in the island. And then going up. Wow. Yeah, big storage space there. Storage above the microwave. I think that is a soft closed hinge on that one. Maybe. No soft closed on the cabinets. And microwave convection oven combo here and they may do that because you're getting a little bit of a smaller oven it's not the smallest oven ever three burner cooktop from Furion with the glass cover it's not the smallest oven ever but it's also not the biggest ever so having the convection oven combo will help with that that does allow you to have more storage down underneath here for pots and pans and things of that nature storage down underneath the sink pretty typical and standard there I like how they Put a um, shelf. Shelf, yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. what's that word? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
And then you have, interesting to see, we don't see this often, especially in 2023, going into what's soon going to be 2024 models coming out, a gas electric refrigerator. So this is a Norcold. It's about an 18 cubic foot refrigerator, and it's going to be gas and electric. So that'll be your refrigerator portion and then your freezer portion. It does give you a lot of freezer space as this kind of dips down, and it comes with some ice trays there as well. storage space up here above your refrigerator that goes back very far and then something that we don't see in every bunkhouse model is a full-size designated pantry so a nice full-size pantry there backlit with an led light and a good amount of storage space in that pantry also comes equipped with this strap here so that it does not go flying into your refrigerator door which is another nice touch where i've seen other brands and that compete with this that do not do that from the manufacturer I love this setup. Yeah. Did you see the light up top? I did. Yeah, it looks really nice. I'm like, I wonder if you can hide something up there. Right? Almost looks like you could. You could definitely put some stuff up there if you wanted to. But yeah, this setup is really nice. It's going to have lots of storage in this area. Some shelves there. Nice little setup here. I like how they built this in. Right? I feel like that's very your, helpful. You put your little K-cups and stuff like that in there. If you put a Q You can put your mail right there. Put your mail right there. Well, there's a lot of things you could put right there. Yeah. And then two drawers here that pull out and then some shelves or some uh, cabinets down underneath here. That's going to be your breakers and fuses to the right. Have our little waggle piece of equipment here that is charging. Um, so hopefully y'all appreciated that. There is a, um, in the comments and in the description, there's a link to where you can Purchase a waggle if you feel like this is good equipment for you to have in your RV. I think anybody that travels with pets and leaves pets alone in the RV for any duration of time should definitely consider looking at waggle and getting that equipment for your RV. Should we go that way or that way? <laughs> hmm. I wish there was like a way that we could ask the people watching. I know. But we have to make the decision for them. Let's see if y'all can guess which way we're going to go because I'm going to leave it up to you to decide. So y'all guess in the comments right now which way you think we're going to go. I'm torn. Which way do you think I'm going to go? No, I'm not going to say. It's up to you. You're just going to decide. Let's go this way. All right. There we go. That's the way I would have gone. So. Really? Oh, yeah. For sure. I usually go to the bunkhouse first. Awesome. So this is your bunkhouse. Nice sliding pocket door there. Looks good. Has like a frosted glass on it. And this is a big bunk room in here. Two cushion sofa with a flip down bunk over the top. And then you have an L-shaped bunk set up here with, this is almost like the size of a queen size bed here at least with how big this space is. So that's a really large bunk space, has the protective railing here, spot to mount a TV on the wall so you can get a TV in this space as well. I think I prefer this railing than some of that black metal railing that we yeah. see. Yeah. It's a little bit more jail-like. Right. This looks a little more. more comforting yeah. yeah more residential um let's move this yeah and the one complaint i had on this model is and it might not be terrible because we're surviving pretty well right now but there are only two acs on this fifth wheel so one here one in the bedroom and right now the temperature in this room is 79 degrees after running this ac for about 45 minutes which is pretty good considering it's over 90 degrees outside today so not bad but sometimes you might see three ACs on a fifth wheel this size, and this one does not have that. I want but to know what's in here. Nice. Big storage space. Wow. And wow. that is like a hanging closet down through there. That's a lot of storage there. <laughs> you got your mirror so you can see, especially if you have kids. I mean, that might be the perfect height mirror They for would them. love that. Yeah. It's like a, almost a full body mirror for a little kid. Drawers here that pull out, and then there's some cargo netting down underneath you so you can store some things there under that space hmm. outlet there next to your feet and then you can see your heat duct coming out of the um, wall there and then i really like the mechanisms that they used on this bunk here um, this is something that's actually really important because i've seen a lot of times where like these latches they just pull out of the wall or bad things happen that's a really solid metal latch that they're using and they're using a solid metal frame here plus the pivot point is right back here. So if you wanted to take this off, all you have to do is unscrew these pieces and everything will come out. See how this comes down. And then you have your bunk there over the top with a nice big window. So all in all, 
In this travel trailer, keep in mind this will make out to a bed as well. You can sleep one, two with that bed, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine if you make that into a bed, possibly 10 if it's a little kid, 11, 12 in the bedroom. So I would say this fifth wheel can sleep at least 12 people where everybody has you know a comfortable space to sleep and they're not sharing a space that's too tight the only spot where they'd be sharing is like this or you know a bed like this where it is designed for two people that's a lot of people that's a lot of people it's a lot of people indeed so you can definitely have the whole family and friends with you notice an outlet up in this corner as well so i want to point that out and a TV connection there. Yep, so you can mount your TV there, and you can, you can put that on a swivel mount if you want it to come out to where you can see it from the couch. This is your half bath, and this is going to make life really easy for you. My family has a fifth wheel with a half bath that has a quick access from outside on it, and I had no idea how convenient that would be until we had it. And definitely makes your life a lot easier if you just need to hop into the bathroom real quick. Um, we actually use it for the sink sometimes too, but you have a sink in the outdoor kitchen on this one, which is nice. Black faucet there, nice big mirror, spot to hang some towels, and a um, porcelain, I almost said fiberglass, a porcelain foot flush toilet there with plenty of room around that toilet as well. So nice space, and it does have a inexpensive vent fan up there and AC ducting. Close that door, and whoever's in this bunk space will have their own private half bath. And then that will take us up into the bedroom and bathroom, which is where some more things get really interesting with how they do this fifth wheel. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out too, actual tile backsplash. I mean, something you're, I don't think you'll see in any of the other competitors that the Solitude S-Class has out there in the market. Um, that's really impressive. You want to show them something yes. behind here? Another nice feature that a lot of other brands don't have is multiple different ways you can control your RV. So you can control your RV with the manual switches here. You have things like your slide outs and your awnings, your um, tank heaters here. So this has 12 volt heat pads for all of your water tanks, your tank levels, all that is there with the manual switches. And you have a touchscreen control panel to control everything as well. Plus this will link to your phone so you can also control everything from your phone. So three different ways in total to control this RV. And then you'll have your steps going up into the bathroom with a grab handle there and a light switch for this space. Plus a motion activated light right there for safety. As we go up this way, you're going to have a nice solid surface countertop in the bathroom. What did you think about this bathroom? I mean, it's, it's pretty standard, but like as far as the layout goes, was there anything that stood out to you though? It looks really big. Yeah. That shower just, I don't know what it is, but it just looks bigger. Am I right or am I yeah. wrong? So it's not technically bigger, but it is bigger. And I'm going to explain why. Um, the overall surface area of it is about the same size as most showers you'll see in fifth wheels. However, what is making this appear and actually be bigger? One, the appearance is your fiberglass molding here. This is one piece fiberglass goes all the way up to the roof line. So most fifth wheels will cut this fiberglass like right here. It usually it like is cut below even where my head would be at in most fifth wheels. So that gives it a feeling of being bigger. Plus it protects your sidewalls. And then most fifth wheels do not have this drop down sort of tub area here. They have a platform that is elevated. So you lose ceiling height in the shower, not grand design, not with their solitude. This is going to drop it down and give you some of the best shower height that you will find in the front cap area of a fifth wheel and i'm going to step in here in just a second so you can see that um, real quick you have storage next to it where you can store towels so i'll have that there and you'll have some towel hooks here on this back wall but let me hop into the shower and show you the space in here because it is truly impressive so with my shoes on i'm about six two and just to here i can't even stand on my tippy toes and hit my head on this spot there so this has to be at least like six 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 seven maybe um i mean it is very tall then you add this i mean you can be seven feet and fit in the shower it does feel huge in here that is crazy usually when i'm recording yeah. your head is right. covered by this yeah they usually put this like right here so they extend everything up taller like how it should be so i don't have to duck to get into the shower 
And then look at how high the shower head height is. I don't have to duck to get under that at all. Which wow. normally I almost always have to say like, oh, I'll have to lift it up over my head, whatever. Not on this one. So it really does have a bigger feeling. Wow, only... 10 out of 10 for miles. Oh yeah, for sure. The only thing it doesn't have is a seat, but I don't need a seat. I can certainly live without that. I know some people want it though. But yeah, so this is a big, nice shower. Again, solid surface countertops, nice stainless steel sink here, black faucet, and then storage here with behind your medicine cabinet. Um, a little bit of a more inexpensive vent fan. Doesn't have the Max Air vent fan here in the bathroom, um, but most of your fifth wheels that aren't like the highest end products don't. And then storage all through here as well. Outlet. Outlet there, yep. Yeah. And then you have your tankless on-demand water heater controls here in the bathroom, which surprisingly there's a lot of brands that put these controls in the living room or in the kitchen or somewhere that's not the bathroom that doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. So I like seeing that there as well. Then that's gonna bring us to the bedroom and I'll actually let y'all go in first and notice there is a magnet catch that grabs Ooh. that door. So we'll take a look at that. That's another Love nice that. feature. Wow. This looks great. Yeah, it is a great looking bedroom. Um, ACs are on full blast. So if you hear them at all, that's surprising because they are very quiet. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't hear the ACs at all. The Coleman Mach Q Series AC, definitely not loud. And bedroom temperature in here is right at 79 degrees right now. If we wanted that to cool down faster, we would actually open these vents up and just dump more air into the space. But 79 feels pretty comfortable considering it's over 90 degrees outside today. I am a fan of the backboard. Yeah. Yeah, the headboards in um, Solitude look really good. Whether it's the S-Class or the Solitude, look really good. You can call the backboard too. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I've been getting killed in the comments because I keep calling these nightstands. These are <laughs> wall shelves. Y'all have educated me that these are not nightstands. They're wall shelves. So you have two wall shelves get it right there. miles i know i'm just <laughs> the worst rv reviewer that has ever hit youtube but anyways you have wall shelves there um no appreciate y'all's feedback y'all help educate me a lot too so i do appreciate that um if i ever miss anything or misspeak on anything please let me know in the comments that's what they're there for so other people can get the information that you have that i might have missed on or may not have big storage down underneath here and then it is strut assisted, so it'll go up and down on its own. Um, mattress in here feels like it's not all that bad. Oh, actually, no, it's not great. <laughs> so this is one where it feels like it's not bad, but this looks like one of those ones that I pulled open when I did my mattress review video. I think my parents' fifth wheel had the same mattress and it was just, what is inside there? It should not even be qualified as a mattress, but. Yikes. Yeah, but it doesn't feel terrible when you first get it, so it's not. The worst thing ever i guess um pull down blackout shades on your windows and tv on the wall here if you want to come back this way tv on the wall here this is a roku smart tv i would love to get to the closet that is a great yeah, looking closet that's true it is a great closet yeah so you come over here and take a look at this space i'm just like the organization you can do in here yeah yeah whether it's folding clothes and putting them on these shelves, putting shoes on the shelves. I mean, that's, there's so much you can do with this space. So nice. Yeah, and it just looks really well finished. I mean, a lot of RV manufacturers, it feels like when they get to the closet, it's just like put a clothing rod in here and call it a day. Yeah. And they really put time and attention into making this space a more usable space. Okay, that was all. Yeah, so that <laughs> looks great. Um, it does have sliding mirrors here, so these will slide across when you are going down, or when you're not going down the road, sorry. So those will close there. Outlets and USB ports on both sides of the bed, so just wanna show you those, cause you do have outlets and USB ports on both sides of the bed. And How is it getting around the bed? I was just about to do that. <laughs> We're literally on the same page. And look at this. So. Whether this closet is open or closed, I actually can walk straight forward and back on this side of the bed. Um, even if you have to do a side shuffle, I mean, plenty of room here. On the other side, though, not so much. So not so much space here. Definitely doing a side shuffle over here on this side. But, it's good to know. It's okay. Last thing, 
Washer dryer connections, definitely got to have those in a fifth wheel like this. Woo -woo. So that is right in here, or you can use this as additional storage space. It's nice to have the option. Yep, it is nice to have the option. Outlets here and then six drawers that we'll pull out here. So you have all of your sock and underwear and shorts and pajamas and whatever it may be. Now, as we walk back down, I don't have an exact sales price on what this RV is. Um, I believe the MSRP on it is like right around the 120 range. Um, MSRP does not mean sales price. So if you are interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen. We wanna help you, we wanna take care of you. We have partnered with McLean's after doing some extensive research on figuring out which RV dealerships starting in our home state of Texas that we wanted to work with. Talked to over a dozen different dealerships decided to partner up with McLean's because of the culture and atmosphere that we experienced in dealing with them. I feel like they are a great organization and we're really excited to work with them and the products that they have here like this. So you can text us at the number on the screen. We will hail. Wow. We will hail. <laughs> we, will... <laughs> we will help take care of you if you are in Texas or Oklahoma. They have five different locations, four in Texas, one in Oklahoma. You can text us at the number on the screen if you are interested in this RV or maybe any of the other RVs that they carry. So text us at the number on the screen there. And until next time, live firmly unfound.